and thanks for watching Henry AI Labs. This presentation is going to cover StackGAN. StackGAN is one of the state-of-the-art uh, generative adversarial network models for text-to-image synthesis. This is an interesting idea because uh, it gives you a natural language interface between uh, image generation advances. So there are two main ideas in the StackGAN paper. So the first main idea is the multi-scale architecture. So from a high level, what this does is First, the GAN model produces 64 by 64 images, and then uh, takes that as a conditional input to generate 256 by 256. And this idea is that it breaks up the idea of generating a high resolution image into a more tractable subproblem. So it's easier to get to 64 by 64 uh, than it is to 256, and it's easier to start from 64 than it is from a random vector. So this picture just shows uh, the comparison of the multi-scale to just trying to go right to 256 from a random vector. So this is a more uh, this is a more low-level implementation picture. This is their architecture diagram that they put in the paper. So just to go kind of uh, follow it sequentially, it takes the text description and then it embeds it using these like uh, things like word to vec, but they they have a different kind of mechanism to make the uh, word vector embeddings more uh, visually semantic. So then they pass this embedding through uh, conditioning augmentation technique, which is the like second main idea of this paper that we're going to talk about in the next slide. So then it uses this to generate the stage one image, which is a 64 by 64. Then um, it takes that same 64 and uses it to generate the 256. And then additionally, there's uh, the stage two generator is a little more advanced than the stage one. It has things like residual blocks. So this is the uh, conditioning augmentation idea. So basically when you have this text embedding, you have a really high dimensional, but like discontinuous space. So when you try to interpolate, like if you change the text, text description from something like this bird is gray with whatever to maybe like this bird is blue, like the the distance between those text vectors are going to be really oddly shaped. So the idea here is that you parameterize a multivariate Gaussian with um, the embedding mean and uh, uh, covariance matrix parameters. So this blue image on the right just shows like what a multivariate Gaussian is. It's just like this, um, you know, like smooth surface that has a, like a centralized mean, like as in any normal distribution or like you seem like central limit theorem, that kind of stuff. So you add this uh, smooth multivariate Gaussian to the discontinuous uh, text embedding space just to kind of smoothen it out and make sure that it's uh, more differentiable. So this image uh, just shows the impact of the stage one to stage two. So you can see it's like a really interesting set of anecdotes showing how the stage two corrects the stage one and how it adds additional details. Some of these are pretty good, uh, especially the first one, the bluebird, and then the, maybe the fifth one are really good details. And also you can see how if you go back to this uh, architecture diagram with the original image, uh, the text embedding is re-added. So it might be able to, with the stage one and stage two, not only uh, make a higher resolution, but it also will correct some of the missing details from the text embedding. So this is a comparison of the um, stack GAN with previous methods. Like um, it's just like the two other state of the arts in text image that have been studied. And so this is just interesting to see like when you're doing GAN research, it's interesting to think about how you're going to communicate your results. So you can use something like the inception score, which you use like a pre-trained uh, inception network and like derive some metrics from that. Or you can just have human evaluators uh, pick out which images look the most realistic. So thanks for watching this video. Please check out henryailabs.com. There's an article on StackGAN as well as uh, many other articles and surveys on deep learning topics.